the sunlight reaches you from thousands of miles away. Do you wish sometimes to change the direction of light such that it reaches where you want it? Let us try to bend light. For this we will need a convex lens, concave lens, prism, laser pointer, whiteboard. Point a laser beam on the board. Observe the size of the point and its position. Obstruct the path of the beam with a convex lens. We observe that the point becomes smaller, but the position remains the same. This happened because the convex lens tends to converge light rays. Now we will obstruct the path of the beam with a concave lens. We observe that the point becomes bigger and more diffused, but the position still remains the same. This happened because concave lens diverge light rays. Now we will place the prism and as you can see the size of the point remains same, but the position changes. This is because the prism drastically changes the direction of light without converging or diverging it. Now you know that light rays can be made to bend. Light always shows rectilinear propagation through a medium, which means that it always moves in a straight line. But when this light passes through a transparent surface that has a different density than its current medium, then the light rays bends or refracts at the interface of the two media. The extent to which the light rays bends depends on the angle that the light ray makes with the surface and also the curvature of the surface. In thick transparent objects like glass, the curvature decides the bending of light. When you drop a coin in a glass of water, the coin looks raised from its original position. This is due to the refraction of light from air to water.